It's been a long, cold winter for engineers working out on the banks of the River Ada, and this has led to problems with the concrete setting, as the new bridge has slowly taken shape. The weather has also made it difficult to operate the giant cranes and barges which are ferried in the new sections of the bridge. But despite the setbacks, Shoreham's new bridge is still on schedule to open by the end of this summer. But we've got to a very important phase now, which is installation of the swinging central span. And that's a very significant milestone, because it means for the first time the new bridge will span the full width of the river. But it also means the project team is pretty much in control of our own destiny from that point forward. With the banks on both sides of the river now joined by the bridge, it will soon be time for the final stages of construction. Predominantly that will be the installation of the parapets, commissioning the swinging span, making sure that works as it should, uh, installation of the lighting and the surfaces, and then the making good of either end of the bridge, where obviously we've, we've got a lot of plant and equipment. During the whole project, a shuttle bus has provided a lifeline between Shoreham Beach and the town. The shuttle bus will carry on operating as it is now, uh, free to use, with a, a quarter hourly service from both Shoreham High Street and from Shoreham Beach until the new footbridge is open to the public. Once the new bridge is opened and ready for business, the old bridge, which has served the town so well, is due to be demolished by the end of the year.